We are surviving, we are thriving, and we are bashing the hell out of our enemies. So we're kind of winning at life in a survival sense right now. Oh, three fires. One for cooking, one for drying your clothing, and one just for ambiance. Beautiful. Ah, oh, there's the boat. Vikings were expert seafarers. Hey guys and girls, King of Phillips here back for Gameology in the survival space. I am always out there reminding you positive mental attitude and eat your friends if you have to. Today, we're doing Valheim Vikings. Well, this is novel. Normally we get into these survival games with a plane crash. Here we are coming in with a bird crash. All right, so we are a Viking, already authentically surrounded by runes. He is very Viking-esque. Got the blonde hair. Interesting, interesting fact. Most Vikings were not, in fact, blonde, but they did dye their hair light. He's assessing the environment, looking around. This looks like a really nice, thriving environment. Those look like birch trees. Those are great. He just smashed a bit some kind of a creature. What is that creature? I'm not sure, but he's taking it out. Possibly edible. Maybe keep the meat from that. Running around, looking at the tree cover there, looking at all the plants. You know, you're knocking down trees by punching them. A broken hand in a survival situation, probably not a good thing. Maybe we can get you some tools pretty quickly. You could probably build a hatchet out of the rocks and the branches that you have there. Looks like a nice spring day and you're wearing shorts, tight ones. Not horribly concerned about the cold yet at this point. Now you have, there you go, you're cutting down trees with a hatchet instead of your fists. I like that. Some moss on that rock there. Moss is edible. You would like to boil it if you're gonna do that. All right, so he's hunting boar. Looks like he's gathering some fruit there. Probably knows what it is with plants. You, you know, well, you don't need to be a botanist, but you do wanna have an idea of what you're picking and eating. Mushrooms are generally something you wanna stay away from unless you know them well. Lots of trees, lots of grass, beautiful environment. Take it in. Oh, more boar. I'm gonna bash the hell out of that mama boar and her. Boar have really sharp tusks, by the way. My dad, when he was a kid in Poland, his dog was basically gutted by a wild boar, so you gotta be careful. All right, shelter. He's got himself a torch. It could be a stack of cattails or he could have gotten some resin from some of those trees there and used that to light a fire. Vikings, as a cool little side note, used to boil a type of fungus, I think it was called touchwood, in their urine and basically turn it into this felty material that then they would use to start fires. Take that to your next party. Hopefully he doesn't burn down his shelter. He's got tools. This guy is, is doing well. Most Vikings actually were not the bad go out and get them and fight them, people. Most of them really were, were farmers and they had livestock. This land is magical. It's so pretty. I want to survive here. He is out hunting now. This is good. I mean, you know, since you're basically thriving here and not just surviving, you're going to want to get some real food. This is a really lush forest, so you're going to be able to find a lot of what you need here. I mean, probably lots of edible plants, trees that you can use. Birch is a great one. You are being attacked by something that looks super creepy there, but it looks like you just blew it up. Look at how gorgeous this game is. The sunlight filtering in through the trees. Take that in, positive mental attitude. Enjoy your space. And the one thing he doesn't have yet are friends. Hopefully he can make some friends because he's pretty much got everything else. So we are a Viking building ourselves a beautiful settlement in a lovely location, might I add. Well chosen. If you're gonna build yourself a permanent shelter like this, you want it to be in a nice location, close to water, but not too close. You don't wanna get flooded or wash away. And he's got trees all around, but nothing big looming over him, so no branches are gonna fall. Uh, he's off the ground, so he's not gonna lose heat to the earth. And also, if there is rain, he's not gonna be all wet. He's building himself a roof, that's good, so when it rains, he'll be nice and warm. Also, protection from predators. Don't know what kind of creatures are out there, but something could get you, maybe. Very, very industrious. He's wearing himself a leather leather vest, both stylish and functional. Animal skins to keep him warm. 
probably from the boar that he captured. When he finally meets some friends, he's gonna be able to really entertain them there. Everyone wants to come over to this Viking's house. I wonder if there's a water source nearby. Vikings were known for their boats. Hailing from the areas that are modern day Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, I believe. Not one fire, but two. Oh, three fires. All right, one for cooking, one for drying your clothing, and one just for ambiance. It's kind of like, you know, when you put on in your TV, you have that, that flame and you fall asleep to it. That's kind of what he's doing. I'm not seeing the hole in the roof anymore, so you might want to make sure that there is a ventilation point for that fire. And since you're putting it on your wood of your floor, you do want to make sure that you don't burn your house down. Got spits there. He's definitely going to have a party because if he's got three fire spits, it's a lot of meat that he's gonna cook. I mean, he did just take out like 10 boar. Maybe he's gonna be smoking that meat. Ooh, antlers, this is good. Antlers you could use for digging. You could sharpen them and use them as tools. Or you could use them just to bash things. It's always a good thing to have. Lots of plant life there. I mean, this guy's doing so well. Grass is something you would eat in an emergency. It's not particularly nutritious and not particularly digestible. Like, you want to boil it. Same with bark on, on trees. Most pine trees is toxic. Most pine trees, the inner bark, the needles, pine cones you can eat. But he's doing so well. He's like, I don't eat no grass. I've taken down like 18 wild boar. to know that you have all of this here. I mean, so much green grass, you know, if you needed to build a signal fire, maybe invite your friends to your fancy new home with three fires, uh, you can do that, but you keep getting attacked by creatures. Fortunately, he's got some bashing skills, which is a major plus. Got some defensive moves. We are surviving, we are thriving, and we are bashing the hell out of our enemies. So we're kind of winning at life in a survival sense right now. Ooh, this looks like some kind of a, a burned out structure. Maybe there was civilization here before you. Once you bash everyone to smithereens with your antler covered tool there, and you can explore this place. Those are wood planks. You could take those. You could use those to help build up your house. You could use them for fire. Got a nice vantage point there. High spot to look around from. What a pretty, pretty world. I mean, you do have a lot of enemies, so it's a good thing that he built himself this shelter with doors and walls because some of these people who might come and knock in are not your friends. We're being constantly attacked. These are very persistent beings. Are they edible? It's always a good question to ask. Oh, we're back to the runes, all right. So the runes are telling us something. This is apparently your afterlife. You just made a sacrifice. Who or what did you sacrifice? Ooh, there. There is magic afoot. Very beautiful. It's like you're in Fern Gully or something. These are not just explosions. These are magical explosions. So now you're going to have to fight a very large creature that is um, shooting lightning from its antlers. Now, I have personally never encountered a buck that shoots lightning from his antlers. But not to say that, that this shouldn't be a real survival concern, you know? He could be there in, in your top 10. A lot of stuff in his rack of antlers there. Looks like there's some chains. Oh, oh, and you took him down. Maybe take the chains, those will be useful. It's a lot of good meat there. Again, you might want to tan that hide. You want to cure the meat. Since you've got those three fires, you could easily smoke them. Oh, well, hello there. This guy looks like he might be able to help you. He looks friendly. You finally made a friend. Invite him to your house. Look at this. Got a village. He's got a really nice place. Oh, you thought your fire was good? Check out this guy's fire. He's got entry lighting. It's really nice. This Viking is so jealous right now. Like, I'm gonna loot this place and I'm gonna take over. I mean, beautiful craftsmanship on these trunks and the trees and look at this. Maybe some critters in here. You've got kilns. I smelt some stuff. You know, you're running around a lot, my friend. Maybe you should take a nap, rest, relax. In a survival situation, you do want to relax. You want to take in the, the magic of your surroundings and give yourself a break. Ooh, water lilies. Water lilies are edible cattails. Cattails are the mother load of survival. You can use that as tinder. You can use that as fiber. You can eat the young shoots. You can actually gather them up and use them as torches. You've got a wheelbarrow. This is great. You can loot. You can carry things. You can gather up food. 
looks like maybe we have a troll or an ogre. Again, my experience with trolls and, and ogres is limited, I must admit, but if you are that good with an arrow, you might be able to take them down. Got ferns there. Oh, we got an ocean. So if you've got a coast and you've got ocean, you can forage around maybe for some fishes, for some shellfish, for some seaweed. And then there's more lily pads. You've got water, it's standing water, not the best, but you can filter that. You got those three fires, you can boil it. Oh no, but the troll just fell in your water supply. Hmm, that's contamination. Oh man, you got a really a lot to contend with here. Like I'm not an expert in, in afterlives, fortunately, but man, this one looks a little scary and they keep dropping dead in your water supply. I mean, if you're gonna kill the enemy, at least kill them away from your food and water sources, I would say. Lots of bashing, lots of bashing and purple flame. But you seem to be really handy with your tools there. You made them well, congratulations. Maybe there'll be a ship and you can get out of there. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, you get on a boat and you leave, because there seems to be a lot of, um, a lot of bogeys. Looks like he has some kind of a raincoat there. That's great. You don't want to be wet and cold in a survival situation. Uh, looks like he's found himself some kind of a garden. Terrific. I mean, maybe don't bash it. Maybe just take it over and then it can be your garden. And then there's little, are those hives maybe? Or maybe something for birds to nest in. Either way, you've got some food sources there. That looks like really good earth. You might want to plant some stuff there. Like I said, not all Vikings were raiders. Most of them just had a happy home life with a garden and some critters. Settled down with a family and a sharp picket fence. And he's fishing, lovely, look at that. All right, so we've got a good source of protein there. You can also jerky the fish. So if you catch enough fish, you can put it out in the sun to dry and have yourself some fish jerky so that it lasts longer. Looks like trout, mmm, delicious. Way this guy's going, I feel like he has. I think those are beehives because there's bees flying around, which is super useful. You've got honey, which is nutritious, also antimicrobial, so you could put it on cuts. Oh, and then you went through a portal. Of course you did. Yeah, that's how I like to get out of survival situations. If no one comes to get me in 24 hours, I just open up my portal to another dimension and I leave. Where are we now? Oh, this is gorgeous. Is this like a restaurant with a view? An overwater bungalow? Where are you, Bora Bora? Beautiful. Ah, oh, there's the boat. Vikings were expert seafarers. So this boat is something that this guy would have used in life and then probably would have been buried in death and then you set him on fire. That's how Vikings went out. So he's exploring the coast. He wants to expand his territory, meet some friends, invite him over for some boar. All right, so that was Valheim, which is a game about Vikings and super historically accurate. I really like that. And some really cool beats in the survival space as well. So I will see all of you next time. Until then, if you'd like to see more Gameology videos, hit up Facebook or YouTube. One of my favorites. See you next time. Let's do that again. Great, shelter. All right, shelter. Very social people, these Vikings. Lots of, lots of bashing. Lots of bashing and purple flame.